All right, if you've been watching the channel, you know that we're gonna be opening up in Montana and one of my favorite places to get product, that's hardware for pennies on the dollar and helping out the community is secondhand stores or reuse stores. Here I am, Missoula, Montana at the reuse store, one of my favorite places to come and find brand new electrical parts and hardware so we can stock up our van and our warehouse for pennies on the dollar and still give back to the community. Let's go inside and check a look. Very cool light fixtures. A lot of them are used, but sometimes you'll find new stuff. And here we go, right away, employees only. So the ladders are not for sale, but I found lots of cool things. So let me show you the hardware first. We can't lose this cart, because when you come into a place like this, you're gonna wanna keep a cart. So hardware costs you hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you're gonna keep going to Home Depot. So check a look at this place. Everything is literally for sale, pennies on the dollar. Nails. Got a whole nail section. My favorite section is starting with the screws and a lot of times you'll find boxes just like this that's gonna have exactly what you need and you can just take the whole thing and then you don't have to even sort it because I don't like to sort. If I have to sort, it's gonna cost money to sort so I don't do it. Look at that, a thousand inch and a quarter screws. Now, nothing that I would use, but if you needed it, there you go. Lag bolts are really cool to get some of these lag bolts. Sometimes we need these to hook up transformers, right? So we got three quarter inch lag bolts. I think I'm gonna grab a bunch of those. Let's see what we got in here. A lot of good stuff. Sometimes you just got to open it up and see what's inside. This is a dollar. I don't even know what's in it. Oh, looks like nails. Cool. Framing nails. Anchor bolts, more lag bolts. These are great for the gate motors we do in LA. Oh my gosh, we use these all the time. More lag bolts. But let's go back to screws. I really need what I'm really looking for. And look at this. This is incredible. These are just pennies on the dollar. What I'm really looking for are 632 electrical screws and 832 screws. Look at this, a whole jar. I don't even know what I would use this for. That's kind of neat, it's just a pan head though. So we can't really use it for anything. But gosh, there's just everything in here. It's like a kid in a candy store, right? I love it. Screen doors, storm door, cabinet handles. I mean, look at that. Anything that you're gonna need. Like this is solid gold. Here we go guys, 632s, found them. Look at that. I got a pack of 632 longs right there, right there, and right there. I'm taking them. That's a quarter inch, we don't need those. There you go, 632s. These kits are always nice too. Look at the kits right here. This has got everything you need for quarter inch. It's solid gold. I don't know what this is gonna cost, but once we get to the front, I'll give you guys a, a grand total of what I'm picking up here. All right, let's see. We still need bulk 632s. Okay, so I just hit another gold mine. I got this bag here I found right there along with that one. And inside of it, you got pan head screws. These are perfect for metal boxes on wood studs. Take a look at that, okay? Why pan head? It's deep enough, looks like about an inch, inch and a quarter. Pan head, because code says you need to use pan head around screws inside metal boxes so that your wires don't strip or get nicked on uh, cone head screws, right? You can't use drywall screws inside metal boxes. There we go. Got a whole bag, we're gonna take that bag, we're gonna put it right into our cart. All right, let's keep going. There's another bag actually right here. You know what, I think it's the same thing. It sure is, it's the same thing. Why don't we combine those two bags and we're gonna take that. You never know, I mean, look at this. You just don't know when you're gonna need something that long in a 1032. I think I'm gonna grab a handful at least. And that goes right into the van stock in case my guys ever need it. I mean, that's solid gold right there. We just gotta find a bag, a bag or a bin we can put it in. That's all we need now. All right, we'll put those in that box and put that in the bag as well. You just never know, when are you gonna need that? You're gonna run to Home Depot to pick up two four inch 1032s? I mean, we'll probably never need it, but if we do, we have it, right? This is the time to buy it. Here we go. Machine screws, again, perfect. These are 832s, guys, look at that. I'm gonna grab those, throw that in there as well. See, drop-in anchors, usually really expensive at Home Depot. You got them here, pennies on the dollar. Bolts and nuts, right? You're nuts. If you're watching this channel, you're nuts about the electrical trade and saving money and leveling up. So we're in the right place. All right, I think I hit the holy grail of 632s. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Let's put them down. Oh my gosh, 632 is at least three or four inch. Man, perfect for your uh, kitchen tile, right? Screws that you're gonna have to cut down, 632s to hold devices. Got about 200 of them in here in this little can right here I found it, look, inside there. Now I just need to find another bag, we're gonna put it in and we're gonna take them. Oh, and we found a bunch of 832s right there as well, four inch. Man, it's turning out to be a good day for hardware for electrical contractors in the reuse store. All right, concrete anchors, deck spacers, just incredible stuff here, ready to go. 
pennies on the dollar. You can't go wrong. A little secret of mine that Montana's now, all my fellow electricians, my 360 electricians, God bless you. There's a little secret I wanted to keep for myself, but I mean, if you're watching this channel and you're subscribed, you deserve it. Look at that, roofing nails. You got a whole box. Amazing, amazing. Now let's see what this is. Look at that. That looks interesting. Wow. Threaded uh, anchor. I forgot the name. What do they call that? Round head. Some moving plates. All right, let's go over to my favorite section. I found a Klein bender here last time I was here, a three quarter inch bender. I paid like 20 bucks for it. It was right here in this corner. Let's see if they got anything else for electricians this time around. Lots of hand tools. We're gonna get a couple of beaters from here. I got some hard hats. Those are pretty inexpensive on Amazon anyway, but here, let's take a look. Beater screwdrivers, it's a must have in your tool pouch, right? Let's pick some up for Josh too. So let's try to find someone that's got an all metal shaft. Those are hex heads. We need a flathead beater. That craftsmen are always good beater screwdrivers. So that might work pretty good. It's decent size. I'd like it a little bit bigger than that, but craftsman's really good. You can pretty much hammer the heck out of those and not have it break on you. Here's another one. Nope, that's a broken tip there. So that's the only beater I saw. Boy, that's a nice Phillips one right there. It's pretty new too, craftsman again. Pretty big size tip. Maybe good just to put in the tool pouch. But I think we're gonna get this screwdriver, the beater for Josh. Let's see what else we can find here. And there's so many. I wonder if we dig deeper. And you never know, sometimes you might find a Klein. Someone's dropped off a Klein screwdriver. That would be nice, right? Looking for the rubber grips. I don't see any. Oh, it's on rails, that's really cool. All right, so no Klein. But we do have a nice Craftsman. This is about the best beater I found. Sometimes you gotta go deep. All right, nothing Klein there. Anything Klein in here? No Klein. 10 snips. You never know what treasure you're gonna find next. T-handles, nice. Hunter. All right, don't need any of those. Got some good drill bits. If you want some drill bits, just to drill some stuff off. All right, we haven't even gotten to the electrical yet, but we'll head over there soon. Let's go take a look. So there is a pretty good electrical section here at the reuse store. A lot of it is used, but there's tons of stuff that are new. So PVC couplings for, uh, for Smurf tubing. I don't like it, they look kind of whacked out, but they're probably pretty good. But here, look at all these connectors, you guys. You need an inch connector, inch and a quarter set screw. This is like five, six bucks at the wholesale house. Here you go, probably pennies on the dollar. I got a lot of Romex MC uh, SCR cable connectors just like that. That one is definitely worth it right there because it's outdoor weather tight already. We're gonna take that one. Let's see what else they have in here. You know, got a weather head here, small one, kind of used. We got even bigger sizes, commercial right there, right there. Nothing there that I really see. Some hangers, PVC. What's up in here? Big lag bolts. All right, electrical, there we go. Someone brought in a whole ready to go PVC 90 LB right there. You know what's really cool is where you get a lot of your P-rings, very cheap. Look at that, industrial cover, pretty cheap. Not bad, not bad. I got a lot of that stock, so I'm not worried about it. The boxes are always good to get. Yep, lots of P-rings, lots of P-rings. You got your cowboy straps, look at that. Two inch maybe, a whole box. You know, it looks like two inch, two hole straps, not too bad. All right, look at that, look at all the connectors. You see what I mean, guys? I mean, you can pay pennies on the dollar. You can get the jobs done. You can put more money in your bottom line and best of all, give your clients a better price. Look, all brand new, EMT. This is for an uh, inch and a quarter, ready to go. It's prepackaged. You know, it's almost worth picking this stuff up. I don't know how much it's gonna be, but once we get to the front, we'll ask them. And if we don't like it, we don't buy it, right? All right, throw these in the cart because they're pre-labeled, easy sheezy. They can throw them in the bin in the van and they know what part they're going to get right out of the bag. All right, there's our copper wire pricing right there. It's by the pound. I don't know if they have anything good here. Nope, they're pretty slim pickings right now. Sometimes there's conduit here, there's Romex here. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. Screwless plates? Yeah, screwless plates, almost screwless. Very interesting. Oh, you know what, you got a lot of eaten screwless plates. Man, this is kind of a gold mine right here. If they're white, this doesn't look white. Head and decor, this is not white. Almond, looks like almond, but look at that. That's like a $10 plate, although that's ivory. See, this is white. I don't know if is it the plastic. I can't really tell. That looks like it's, yeah, it's white. Look at that keyless for a toggle switch. Really cool stuff, really cool stuff. Don't need any of that right now, but it's nice to know that's here. Sink, oh, you've got your joist brackets. 
Now these are really cool to position something dead center. So we are gonna pick up uh, about that many. How's that? Should be enough. Oh, do we have male and female? That's a good question. I think it is male and female each one, right? I'll have to double check that. You're gonna have male and female on this. Yep, I think each one's male and female. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is male and female. Sure is. Yes, sirry, Bob. We're good to go, male and female. Should be enough. These are great for a lot of things. I mean, that's a big score right there. Don't know how much it'll be, but I wouldn't pay a dollar each, but maybe 50 cents each, it'd be worth it. But look at that right there. And then you know what? You got the instructions for it as well. Very, very cool. All right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta meet Joe Burnich. We're gonna feel the burn today. We haven't seen him in a while. And here's our breakers. Usually I will stay away from this unless it's a Federal Pacific or a Zinsco that you really, really need. These are not brand new, but they do have square D. They have all kinds. I don't trust them. I would never put them in a new uh, build or a, or a client's house unless it's 100% temp. Now what these breakers are good for is temporary power. You're gonna put a panel for temporary and it's gonna go later. It's just for the construction job site. Then why are you gonna buy brand new breakers? You come here, you buy the breakers you need, put it into a temp panel, you're ready to go. Now, the funny part is this section used to be all electrical. It looks like it's narrowed down now and we don't have any electrical here, but that's about it. The used store for this time around, last time I came in, they had some PQL lights here which is a distributor that I use that I promoted on the channel. Let's see if they're still here. Let's see if anybody's bought the PQL fixtures. Oh, look at that. You got some Eaton's here. Are these new? Look at that, brand new probably. <sighs> PQL, where are you, buddy? Nope, they're gone. Anyway, this is a good place too if you're just looking for one part and you just need to replace it. Like you broke a glass and a customer wants to keep the fixture, you can probably come here and find the fixture with the glass. We got a whole bunch of older light fixtures here. Just some random knickknacks, some track lighting. Can you believe it? I mean, this store is a gold mine. About once a month, you should just drop in here during lunchtime, walk it, see what you can find, pick up anything else. Again, old recessed cans, I would never use them, but you know that they're, they're here. This is kind of cool. Landscape lighting, look at that. Now that is really cool. Ready to go, landscape lighting. We should find out how much those are. I think I will. I'll take one of those and ask them how much they want for that. Yeah. All right, well, we didn't get as much as I wanted, but we did get enough hardware here, some straps, connector, and framing straps. Got a beater screwdriver for Josh. Again, let's go see. I'm not expecting this to be much more than 20 bucks, but who knows. Let's go check out and see how much we got. $19 total. I estimated at 20. What do you know? <laughs> all right, that is a pleasure, no problem. Well, not, not a bad guess, you guys. $20 for all that hardware, not bad. Stock up. Make sure you guys visit the Rita store in Montana right here, almost in the downtown Missoula area. So I hope these little tips and tricks help. Comment down below, what do you think my best score was there on hardware? What do you think of my ideas and the way I do things? This is how we make money. This is how we add to the bottom line. I'm about to go meet lunch with Joe Burnage. Make sure you subscribe, join the mailing list so you can know when videos come out just like this. And we will see you on the next one.